Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 11th of March. And starting off with Seven Digital, where we've finally got our signal, a good strong signal with a gap higher off uh, the uh, support and also off the 200 day moving average at 1.23 pence, uh, broken the 50 day line at 1.47 and that uh, line of resistance from August. The red one around the same level, so above the 50-day line, looking for obviously at least at the uh, two pence plus area, which was the January resistance, but the big picture target here over the next two to three months up to four and a half pence uh, retesting August resistance. The confidence uh, for this call uh, backed by the gap higher, which shows that uh, maybe traders were caught off guard. We also had a gap higher, as you can see, in, in August to, to start off that rally as well. So uh, gaps can be significant in these situations. This stage, uh, early end, end of day close back below the 200 day line, really delaying the upside scenario and four and a half pence. Plus, I've been ordered to do the uh, next stock, uh, Clontarf, which I probably would have done anyway. But uh, here we've got another stock which is gapped off support, which is a good sign and uh, shows momentum has uh, begun. Uh, and above the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages at 0.41 pence on an end of day close today, we should be looking towards the top of the uh, broadening triangle I've drawn from back in May last year as high as a penny. That could be seen as soon as the end of May, this May. So let's see how that goes. Uh, the only thing which would really uh, cancel or delay the uh, upside would be uh, back below the recent uh, March support. But uh, it looks as though there's been enough uh, testing there around 0.35 to uh, get this thing going. Uh, the green stocks, uh, which I'm not really into, but uh, the green stocks are back uh, at the moment. Uh, First one, uh, well, the one that I'm looking at today is uh, Ectech. Need an end of day close above that resistance line there from January. 1.8 pence and the 20 day line. We can do that uh, someday this week. That would be a big positive for the shares and suggest that we could go back to the highs uh, three to three and a half pence by the end of next month. If you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for a break of either the uh, initial March resistance at 2.05 or the 50 day line currently at 2.16. Uh, at this stage, only really back below one and a half pence, which was support on the way down, really delaying uh, the upside scenario. Good to see Fragrant back in the picture and the back in the frame. Uh, the big plus point here, which was identified before, was the way that uh, we've had, uh, I suppose, we've had gaps uh, to the upside there in January. Unfilled gap from last month, which is the uh, big plus here. And uh, even with the placing, we stayed above that gap, which is great. We stayed above the uh, the twenty day moving average as well at uh, five and a half pence and that support line there from January at five pence. So the longer we stay above uh, the gap floor, the better this looks. If you're looking for a momentum trigger, that you would be waiting for an end of day close through today's high at six and a half pence, which is that uh, February resistance line, and then targeting as high as 13 pence as soon as the end of next month. RSI uh, looking very good as well. That's been about at 50 or above the neutral level in bullish mode since uh, well actually even since uh, that uh, before that low was put in uh, last month so looking pretty strong there and all the near-term moving average is also rising so this should be on its way to the upside stock that's already been on its way to the upside for quite a while after a very slow start uh, i3 energy uh, i think it was one of the uh, stocks of the year and uh, seems to have uh, taken note of that started moving just before uh, the beginning of uh, january and uh, now we seem to be accelerating. Nice uh, bull flag breakout uh, that we had uh, to start the week. Uh, that peak from February at 8.2 pence. And above that, we're looking for at least 12 pence for I3 Energy at the top of that uh, rising trend channel from March last year. So very uh, solid looking situation there. Clearly trying to anticipate forthcoming news. Uh, moving on to a stock which I think I promised uh, someone that it would uh, hit um 20p or 25p or something like that by uh, the end of this month a bit of a bit of a delay for jubilee metals but uh, actually a very good consolidation here right near the highs uh, sideways flag as well brilliant uh, price action uh, staying above the 20 day line well above the 20 day line which you only see in the most bullish of situations so everything going for the shares at the moment and uh, the longer we stay above the 50-day uh, moving average just shy of 14 pence the greater the chance of a move 
uh, not only to 20 or 25 pence, uh, but also as high as 30 pence. And that could be seen as soon as uh, the end of the next month, although I might have to delay that into uh, into May at some point as well, but still looking very good despite the slight delay there at Jubilee. Uh, on to uh, Codal, which has been, uh, which is always a bit of a challenge, a, a charting challenge. Uh, here we've got a situation where the shares have uh, broken through this symmetrical triangle that we had uh, from last September. It's taken a long time to uh, consolidate and get itself, uh, get its act together. But uh, the plus point here, which we've had since September, really, uh, is the way that uh, we've, the shares have spent all that time above the. Uh, uh, 200 day moving average so uh, just ba actually since uh, basically since uh, the end of august uh, breaking that line of resistance there from september at uh, what's that uh, point 0.1 well this is right above uh, point 0.1 pence uh, should take the shares on and uh, give us a, a target as high as the top of the september price channel uh, currently pointing to point 0.23 or point 0.24 pence uh, by the end of next month only back below the 50-day line and back below point one really delaying the upside scenario but uh, hopefully on this situation after the uh, I suppose three full storms that we've had uh, the shares are finally on their way uh, another slow situation which looks like it's just about to take off now is uh, mineral and financial uh, here we've had a break of this uh, triangle that's been in place I suppose since the end of December uh, the uh, top of the triangle there around 11 pence so weekly close above that and we could be on our way to a 20 pence target by the end of next month which is the top of a rising trend channel from uh, back in what that's that's 2018 so uh, quite a big uh, uh, time frame there but uh, hopefully by the end of next month or maybe going to May up to 20 pence for um, mineral and financial while it holds above the 11 pence level stock which might move rather more quickly because uh, that's just what it does uh, normally is uh, premier african uh, it looks like we're consolidating well um, at and above the 20 pence level which was a previous target also that was resistance in october 2019 so old resistance becoming new support and uh, the longer we hold above that uh, the greater the chance of a touch of the next uh, resistance line there from march 2019 as high as 0.4 pence time frame on that uh, by the end of next month or perhaps sooner got a request for pensana which has been a great uh, ipo post ipo rally that we've had uh, uh, maybe somebody uh, floated it a bit too cheap perhaps uh, but uh, here we've got uh, probably the best uh, type of configuration you can have a broadening triangle so the target just keeps rising almost by the day uh, the view here is that while we're above uh, the, and the longer we stay above one pound fifty, which is uh, has been the support to, to start this week, uh, above one fifty on an end of day close, looking forward to a target as high as two pounds twenty uh, by the end of next month and uh, the way things are going, perhaps even by the end of this month. If you're really uh, s uh, sort of squeamish about the price action, maybe you'd uh, have a, a tighter stop loss. So you'd say that uh, uh, the initial March resistance at one pound sixty was your. Uh, end of day close stop loss but it looks like you've probably got to give it down to 150 in order to reach two pounds 20 over the near term couldn't resist looking at uh, ridgecrest again although i've looked at it several times before just for hat tip to all the people in norwich who seem to be supporting this uh, particular situation we've got a rising trend channel there uh, from last month for the channel currently at 2.37 while above that we're looking towards the top of the channel at five pence and uh, that would hopefully be seen by the end of next month uh, stock which uh, I haven't looked at for a while but uh, looks very uh, solid let's say uh, at the moment and has been with high highs and lows all the way up from uh, December clearly uh, uh, getting into that uh, natural resources vibe which is uh, doing rather well at the moment uh, here we've had a bounce so we've had a bear trap to start this month from below the uh, 50 day line at four and three quarter pence but we've broken that line of resistance from January at five pence and uh, an end of day or a weekly close above five pence should be more than enough to uh, take the shares on to a target as high as nine pence as soon as the end of next month. Stop loss and end of day close back below the 50 day moving average at four and three quarters uh, should do the trick. Uh, another stock which is a recent IPO and also has a broadening triangle formation. So we're full of hope on this one. Uh, Tirupati Graphite, plenty of news flow as well. Uh, here we've broken the initial March resistance at uh, call it 98 pence, 
And above that, looking for uh, an upgraded target here now, which is uh, that line of resistance from December, currently pointing as high as £1.50. Maybe see that uh, going into May, by the end of May, for this particular situation. But uh, very good uh, break to new higher ground here, which uh, does inspire confidence. Stock which is slightly uh, more obscure, but uh, has done very well for its fans, uh, Zephyr Energy. Uh, here it looks as though we're ready for a new leg to the upside. We had the first breakout there through the uh, one penny area, which was uh, great, and went to three pence. Uh, we had a gap there to the upside, which was filled, but then we bounced off that gap, which is uh, normally a very good sign. And uh, breaking that uh, January resistance line at uh, 2.4 pence today, uh, above the support line there from uh, October, from uh, August rather, last year at 2.2 uh, .2 pence, we're looking for a target here as high as 5 pence over the next one to two months, so maybe going into April or mid-May for Zephyr Energy up to that 5 pence target. At this stage, only back below the 50-day uh, moving average at 1.96 currently really delays the upside scenario, but it seems very unlikely that uh, the shares will have to go back and test that any time soon. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.